What we have for you here on Strict Business this week is a retail enterprise that was born out of a long-term vision of survival in a market that is fraught with uncertainties and volatility. This enterprise has become a market leader in its genre, surpassing even the mother company in terms of profitability. Lechong Manok is as Pinoy as the proverbial lechon, but it surpasses the iconic lechon in that it is now an everyday fare for most families. Maybe it is the sheer affordability or its wide presence in the market. One can see lechon manok stores actually booths in many corners in any given area, be it in the metropolis or far-flung provinces in the country. Chucks to Go is a primary example of this. This ready-to-eat product from Bounty Agro Ventures has become synonymous with daily fare for the average Filipino family. Curiously, this business is an offshoot of an established enterprise that is also a market leader in its sector. Bounty Agro President Ronald Mascarinas, who started it all, tells us how they started. We started the business in 2002. We started as a poultry integrator. So our main product was really dressed chicken. So we supply the wet markets, supermarkets, and we also sell live chicken. But the chicken commodity business is highly volatile. It depends on supply and demand. Pending to mass and pressure, pending bagsak, pending lugi, we're practically not in control of the business. That is the main, main reason why we ventured into the retail business of roast, roasted chicken. Chuck is Australian slang for chicken. It is catchy and has easy recall. Actually, pangatlong pangalan na yan. No, Noong 2007, about November, we had trial kami ng roasted chicken in the Visayas. We put up 10 stores. Ang pangalan noon, May Manok. Pinakabadoy na itsura ng tindahan. But we used oven roasted chicken. And then, by after two months, January 2008, we evaluated. Out of 10 stores, 8 doon nilangaw. Nang wala pang 10 heads a day ang benta namin. Only two stores made it. No, one store in Tacloban and one store in Ormoc. So, ang normal course, yung pilot run namin was a failure. But there were two successes, no? yung Tacloban and Ormoc. So, we look at ano bang, what's unique about Ormoc and Tacloban, why, we're, why we were successful. But hindi lang siya successful. No? We were overwhelmingly successful. Nakakita nga ano ba ng litsong manok dito na pipilahan mo, Makukuha mo yung order mo the following day. Their pilot stores were put up initially in far-flung areas because management thought it wasn't the right decision to give competition to their own buyers, the Lechon Manok operators. Because it was a risk we're taking. Because yung mga naglilitson all over the country are our customers. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look good na we will be competing with our customers. That's why tinago namin sa mga lugar na yun. But at the back of our mind, we were preparing really for AFTA, yung ASEAN Free Trade uh, Agreement. Uh, at that time, on paper, we are not competitive with some of our neighbors. Pag nawala ang tariff rates, we realized that Pwedeng yung mga fast food chains, the supermarket and wet market will stop buying chicken from us. Dahil, it's cheaper for them to import. So, yun talaga ang kwan, the main consideration why we wanted to develop our own retail outlets. They were certainly not the pioneers of the business of Lechong Manok. Many others have ventured here ahead of them, but their success bears keen watching. Because if not for the innovation, 
nung tao namin doon. Hindi ganun kasarap yung manok namin. So yung... In fact, one yun eh. From a technical standpoint, kahit pumunta ka sa mga PhD na mga sa food technology, they will not agree to skip that, that process. Parang kailangan to marinate chicken, para pumasok yung templa, you must do that part. Kaya yung tao namin, what ang common sense niya, sabi niya, this is not necessary. Kaya hindi ganun kasarap ang manok dahil ginagawa ba to. So he skipped that process. This innovation has spelled the big difference in the taste of their product. Though Ronald says they are aware that this may not remain a trade secret forever. The company has a lot of employees who will eventually figure out the trade secret. Negosyo naman, hindi lang sa timpla. It's really how you execute. Tiningnan, tiningnan mo yung chooks to go operation, roasted chicken, napakasimple, di ba? Isang tao. But if you look at a lot of integrators trying to do that business. So far, kami lang nagsaksin among the integrators. It looks so simple, but yung process niyan, the systems, the controls, yung isang page na yan, kikita mo yan, that's the process. Lechong Manok has become as Pinoy as Pandesal. It is ready to eat and easy to eat as well. It is very affordable for many Pinoy families which greatly accounts for its popularity. It is a business waiting to happen for Bounty Agro Ventures. Uh, dito sa Metro Manila, maraming mga kilala na na brand. But umikot ka sa buong Pilipinas, bawat area, meron doong sikat na brand. No? Munta ka sa Dabao, Punta ka sa Cebu, iba-iba yan. Punta ka na Ilocos, Isabela, all over. We need to find a way to address yung volatility ng commodity business. Yung chicken, parang bigas yan. Pag mataas ang supply, babagsak ang presyo. Pag konti ang supply, tataas ang presyo. So, if we look at the history of yung mga players, big players sa poultry industry, yung malalaki went bankrupt. Bounty Agro Ventures is a big established company with operations all over the country. Their farms have a complete setup that includes the veterinarians, a feed mill, salesmen. Venturing into chicks to go wasn't all that difficult because of this. All they needed to do was hire more people to run the store operations. In fact, they were opening stores simultaneously at a rate of two a day making them the largest chain in the market with 1,250 stores and still growing. 650 of these are in Luzon, 300 in the Visayas and another 300 in Mindanao. By year-end, they would have opened 300 to 350 new stores. Stable as the company is right now, Ronald feels that franchising is not really for them. Sinubukan namin yung franchising. In fact, we're ready. Nakakahon yan eh, yung aming franchising na uh, model. Uh, it's push button ready. So, we tried it in a few areas. Hindi namin tinawag na franchising. Operator agreement, sinubukan namin. Without the franchise fee. Mas mahirap ang control. Ha? Pag nag-audit kami, a lot of times, bumab bumabagsak. They cannot comply with standards. Plus, itong negosyo kasi na to, the most important key success factor is really location. So, if we go to an area, siyempre, namimili kami. Alam namin kung saan yung pinakamagandang location. But, most of the time, the best location, occupied yun. Hindi siya available for rent. So, naghanap kami. Anong available dyan na pwede na, doon kami. But, we're always in the lookout. Pag merong superior location, ililipat namin yan. If we go franchising, nag-invest yung franchise dito. Hindi yan lilipat dito kasi sayang yung investment niya. It's been eight years since they started full-scale operations in 2008. We asked Ronald what he thinks now as their biggest challenge when they first started. The biggest challenge really is yung managing change. Yung mga tao namin, we really nasanay sila sa poultry integration. No, palaki kami ng manok, didress namin, ibibenta namin sa traditional trade channels. 
nung and we were making good we were making good money during those times. Pero nung mag-switch kami ng direction to grow yung retail business, hindi matanggap ng mga tao namin. From the executives all the way down, they resisted it. Parang, bakit ba pinipili tayo ni boss na magtayo ng tindahan? Eh, kumikita naman tayo dito sa poultry integration. Kasi yun, simple ang trabaho. No? Palakihin mo yung manok, dress mo sa planta, the following day, benta, tapos ng trabaho. Yung retail lang, dami mong babantayan. That was, I think, the biggest challenge for us. Clearly, this one model enterprise that bears watching. They have surged to number one position in only eight years because of excellent management practices. We asked Ronald to share their secrets of success. Una, kahit ano namang negosyo, una, you must have a good product. So, hindi naman namin sinasabi amin ang pinakamasarap. But what is important in any business? Una, number one, no? you have a good product. Second, you must have a different product. Yung tawag sa marketing, product differentiation. So in marketing, sinasabi nila, it's, na, it's better to be different than being the best. Uh, kahit pa ikaw ang pinakamasarap, kung pare-pareho lang ang lasa niyan, sa karamihan, hindi ka mapapansin ng merkado. So, you must be different. So, if you look at chooks to go yung proposition namin na masarap kahit walang sauce. That's the only roasted chicken sa buong Pilipinas na binibenta na walang kasama. Kahit saan ka pumunta sa buong Pilipinas, may sarasa yan. Pumunta ka sa fast food. Di ba? Kahit bumili ka ng fried chicken, may isang kasamang sarasa yan. Bumili ka ng fried chicken na whole, may sarasa talaga. So, yun, pinapangatawa namin. That's our point of differentiation. Ito ang manok na walang masarap kahit walang sauce. Ronald Mascarinas is father to his employees. He started his career when fresh out of UP Los Banos, he joined the Ayala-owned Pure Foods Corporation. He was one of the pioneer employees and rose from the ranks to become head of the poultry business and its food server business. He was also president of the Smokies fast food chain when he left Pure Foods after it was acquired by San Miguel Corporation. At that time, kasi kuwane, it was declared redundant. Kasi when San Miguel bought Pure Foods, meron din naman silang poultry business. So of course, they assigned their guy to head a uh, uh, poultry business. One of the smaller integrators ng ara was Tyson Agroventures. They carry yung Bounty Fresh brand. So the owners asked me that they'll put up a new company for me. Uh, they want me to run it the way I run Pew Foods. So they said, we will finance you. You can hire your own people, set up your compensation system, etc. But you will be independent from the family. So I started the business with yung mga tao from Pew Foods na nawala ng trabaho. Yung mga na redundant. So practically everybody who lost their job because of the acquisition, it absorbed ko na. All of them who wanted to work. In fact, most of my executives here, my managers, came from Pew Foods. We asked Ronald, what advice can you give to budding entrepreneurs? So startup business, madaling manggaya eh. In fact, yun ang karamihan ng ginagawa, di ba? May sari-sari store yung kapitbahay, tatayo ka rin ng sari-sari store. Naglilitsyon si Pedro, tatayo din ng litsunan si Juan. Ang importante sa negosyo, okay lang yun na manggaya ka. But you have to find how will you differentiate your product. Paano ka may iba? Kasi parang kung halimbawa, yung crowd, di ba? Paano ka mapapansin ng merkado kung kapareho ka din lang ng iba? Okay mang gaya, but you find a way to be different. A very inspiring feature indeed on Chooks to Go.
the retail business of Bounty Agro Ventures, a perfect example of vision and leadership.